place that you were, you know, it's like, what can I do? You're feeling this way. You're trying to do good. Bad is all around. So what I did, like I said, I had my pen and paper, and I learned to write. So I wrote my feelings out. It doesn't have to rhyme. Like, when I started writing, I was just writing down things. It wasn't necessarily a poem. So I encourage you to write because... With writing, you get to get your feelings out, and you get to be creative like an artist. You know, when they start sometimes, they may not know how the picture's going to end up. Okay? So with me, with my writings, I had no idea it would end up here. So I wrote about a time, because I wasn't in a good place at that time, so I wrote about a time when things would be good, when things would be better, when I would feel free, when I didn't have to listen to this anymore or be held down anymore. So I wrote about those times, and like I said, years later, you know, when I look back, I was free, you know, and I was living a life that I wrote about, you know. So I always, I always keep hope alive. I know you guys have heard that term, but I always keep hope alive. You know, I always wrote about a better day, a better time, and that was my outlet. And so I encourage you definitely to keep a journal. You know, you can write about the future that you want to have, and there is power of words. Of course, coupled with prayer, anything is possible. Can I answer your question? Anybody else? You look like you got a question. Yeah. No? Okay. Well, um, as far as uh, it, it, let's see, uh, rewards and stresses of being an author, you did have a question? No? Okay. As far as the rewards and stresses of being an author, um, some of the questions that what, what aspects of my work are fun or pleasant? Well, like I said, just being an author, being a writer, it's unlimited. It's no, you know, you just stick to this or stick to that. So I do have, have book signings. Have you guys ever heard of Wednesday Wind Down at Centennial Park? Okay. Probably some of your parents, though. So anyways, I have vendor tables uh, when I'm at Centennial Park. So I do book signings there. I know a lot of people, like I said, with different careers. I know restaurant owners, store owners. So uh, my second book signing was at a boutique on, on Peachtree and Buckhead area. So uh, with my field, I get to meet a lot of people. Um, just most recently, most recently I went to uh, Bravo TV, one of the reality shows. I don't watch reality because I'm too busy trying to keep up with mine. I don't have time for theirs. Uh, but have you guys heard of Married to Medicine? Yes. Okay, so I went to a networking mixer for a VIP premiere party just a week ago, and one of the main stars, Quad, you know, I got to talk to her and share my book with her. You know, she wants a copy of my book, so I get to meet a lot of people. Have you guys heard of the singer Philippia? No? Okay, she's a local artist, almost like an India Irie, but not as big yet, like a Monet, uh, she's a sort of type like that. So she's going to be performing, and one of the guys from the radio station, Art Terrell from Kiss 104, they're going to be hosting that in a few weeks. And so the owner of the lounge asked me to come and do a book signing. So there is lots of rewards. I get to network and mix in with so many people. It's very rewarding. Um, I get to meet wonderful people, young people like you guys. I get to encourage adults, teenagers. So there's lots of, lots of rewards, definitely. Yes. Did you go to college? Did I go to college? I did. I went to business college. And it had nothing to do with my field. Okay, no, I was going to ask, uh, do you think, like, your networking, um, did that help you become more successful in life than you having, like, a high degree person? Absolutely. Absolutely. I definitely believe in education, definitely. Uh, so don't get me wrong. However, I did go to business college. I graduated from business college with honors. But as far as my professional career, definitely networking has helped me a lot more. You know, but having that education, that's a foundation, you know. So when I'm meeting different people, because I've been trained professionally and educational-wise, so that helps me to be able to adapt to those situations. But definitely networking. Yes. So I just believe that networking is really a uh, majority uh, of the key to uh, just becoming, like, real great in life because you got to learn how to network with others. Exactly. And then the more you network, you know, they I don't know the correct ratio, but it's been said that we're like three people away from everybody in the world, you know. So it's like when you are networking and you know these people, you don't know who they know. You know, like every one of you guys, I don't know who's in your family. You know, you may have doctors or there may be celebrities or anybody. So when you're networking, you're mixing people and, you know, you're good people, good energy. They're going to introduce you to other people and say, hey, I'm a, I'm a writer, I'm a poet. Oh, when I did my first book signing, people that didn't even know me, they was like, well, can I get your card? Because I have somebody that owns this organization. Maybe you can come and talk to the young people there. So it just leads to endless opportunities. So, yes, networking plays a huge part. Mm-hmm.